The incubator hummed softly, a constant presence in the otherwise hushed world of the neonatal intensive care unit. Here, every breath, every heartbeat of these fragile infants was monitored, every change scrutinized. As a NICU nurse, my eyes were trained to detect the subtlest of shifts, the slightest alterations that could signal a problem. Abdominal distension, a silent yet potentially serious condition, was one such challenge we faced regularly. Babies, especially those born prematurely, are particularly vulnerable to abdominal distension. Their tiny digestive systems, still maturing, can struggle to process food and manage air intake. A visibly distended abdomen, often accompanied by increased abdominal girth and firmness, is often the first sign. This visual cue sets off alarm bells, prompting immediate and thorough assessment. Early recognition is paramount. We can't afford to wait for the baby to show obvious signs of distress. A delay in diagnosis and treatment could lead to complications, impacting the baby's already delicate condition. Every minute counts in the NICU and our vigilance can make all the difference. Each shift, we approach these tiny patients with a keen eye and a gentle touch. We look for any changes in their abdomen, feeling for any unusual firmness or distension. We rely on our senses, our experience, and our deep well of knowledge to recognize the signs and act swiftly. The earlier we intervene, the better the chances of a positive outcome for these precious little ones. Abdominal distension can occur due to various reasons such as necrotizing enterocolitis, intestinal obstruction or sepsis. Symptoms include a swollen, firm abdomen, vomiting and changes in stool patterns. Treatment often involves decompressing the stomach with a nasogastric tube adjusting feeding practices, and sometimes administering antibiotics. In severe cases, surgical intervention may be necessary to address the underlying cause. Our goal is always to stabilize the baby as quickly as possible, ensuring they receive the best care and support. The faint scent of hand sanitizer filled the air as I reached for the chart, its pages filled with a meticulous record of the tiny patient's journey. Documentation in the NICU is more than just a bureaucratic task, it's a lifeline, a detailed narrative that helps us understand and address the evolving needs of our fragile charges. When it comes to abdominal distension, accurate and comprehensive documentation is critical. Every observation, every measurement, every intervention is meticulously recorded. We note the size and shape of the abdomen, carefully measuring its girth with a soft tape measure and noting any increase. The color of the skin over the abdomen is documented, looking for any signs of redness or discoloration that might indicate inflammation. Tenderness, a sign of potential pain or discomfort, is assessed with a gentle touch, gauging the baby's reaction. We listen for bowel sounds, those subtle gurgles that indicate normal digestive activity using a stethoscope placed gently on the baby's abdomen. Gastric residuals, the amount of milk remaining in the stomach after a feed, are also carefully measured and recorded, providing valuable insights into how well the baby is tolerating their feeds. These detailed observations, meticulously documented, create a comprehensive picture of the baby's condition. They provide a clear timeline of the distension, helping us track its progression and assess the effectiveness of our interventions. This meticulous record keeping is vital for communication among the healthcare team, ensuring that 
everyone involved in the baby's care is informed and working together towards the best possible outcome. The atmosphere in the NICU was always a delicate balance between calm efficiency and quiet urgency. When a baby presented with abdominal distension, our training kicked in, guiding our every action in a well-rehearsed choreography of care. We knew that prompt intervention was crucial to alleviate discomfort and prevent potential complications. One of the first steps was often to hold feeds. This allowed the baby's digestive system a chance to rest and recover, reducing the workload on their tiny gut. Gastric decompression, a procedure to remove excess air and fluid from the stomach, was another common intervention. Using a small, flexible tube inserted through the baby's nose or mouth, we could gently alleviate pressure and discomfort. Intravenous fluids, meticulously calculated to meet the baby's individual needs, were often started to maintain hydration and electrolyte balance. These tiny lifelines delivered essential nutrients directly into the bloodstream, bypassing the digestive system and giving it time to recuperate. Throughout these interventions, we remained vigilant, constantly monitoring the baby's vital signs, their oxygen levels and their overall comfort. Every beep of the monitor, every fluctuation in their tiny chest was meticulously tracked. We watched for any signs of deterioration, any indication that the interventions weren't having the desired effect. Our hands, steady and sure, provided comfort and reassurance, a constant presence in their vulnerable world. In those moments, we were not just caregivers, but guardians, fierce advocates for these tiny patients fighting for their lives. The NICU, a symphony of beeping monitors and hushed whispers, was a testament to the power of teamwork. We were a cohesive unit, nurses, doctors, respiratory therapists, all working in concert to provide the best possible care for our tiny patients. When it came to abdominal distension, collaboration was not just preferred, it was essential. As nurses, we were the eyes and ears of the team, our close observation providing valuable insights into the baby's condition. We relayed our findings to the doctors, sharing our concerns and observations, ensuring that everyone was informed and on the same page. We assisted with diagnostic tests, our gentle touch calming the baby as blood was drawn, x-rays taken or ultrasounds performed. Each test provided another piece of the puzzle, helping us to understand the underlying cause of the distension. Was it a simple case of immature digestion or were there other factors at play, such as an infection, a blockage or a complication from their premature birth. The answers, often found through this collaborative effort, guided the course of treatment. We were not just caregivers, but advocates, relaying the baby's needs, their responses to treatment, their subtle cues of discomfort or improvement. We were the constant presence at the bedside, the reassuring touch, the calm voice whispering words of comfort. In the NICU, collaboration wasn't just about sharing information. It was about sharing the responsibility, the worry, the hope for these tiny lives entrusted to our care.